Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received at Sakhir Palace the Foreign Affairs Minister of Thailand, uh, Don Parmodui Nai, who is on a visit to the kingdom to participate in the third meeting of the High Bahraini Thai Joint Committee. His Majesty the King affirmed the deep rooted cooperation relations between Bahrain and Thailand and the development they, witnesses, they witness in all fields. His Majesty welcomed the Thai Minister, who conveyed the greetings of the Thai King, Bajira Langkong Debaya, and the Thai Prime Minister, Prayuth. The Chanucha and the Thai King's wishes of further development and progress to Bahrain. His Majesty the King requested the Thai Minister to convey his greetings and wishes of further prosperity to the Thai King and people. His Majesty noted the positive results of the High Bahraini Thai Joint Committee meeting, which will contribute to enhancing bilateral cooperation. His Majesty also hailed the results of the His Majesty's visit to Thailand the previous year, which contributed to the development of joint relations, affirming that. Thailand possesses a central role in its Asian and international environment. His Majesty noted the advanced level the Bahraini Thai relations reached, affirming the Kingdom's aspirations to bolster current partnerships and to benefit from the two countries' competencies and append potentials. He expressed uh, appreciation for the Thai community's contribution to the development in the kingdom. For his part, the Thai Foreign Affairs Minister expressed appreciation for His Majesty's role and efforts to bolster bilateral cooperation and coordination, asserting that his visit is an extension of mutual visits between senior officials of the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Prefar Palace today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Don Pramodwinai, and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance the bilateral relations to develop economic and commercial exchange between the two countries. He also expressed pride in the growing Bahraini Thai relations, which are based on mutual respect and understanding, stressing the importance of coordination between the officials of the two countries to set the necessary mechanisms to implement the agreements and memorandums of understanding signed between the two countries. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee in strengthening the relations and communication between the two countries. His Royal Highness asserted that the strategic location of the two countries should be employed to bolster relations in the economic and political fields, highlighting the role of investors of both countries in strengthening economic and commercial ties. He recalled the successful visit of the Thai Prime Minister Parayut chan -Cha to Bahrain, which resulted in the development of cooperation between the two countries. The Prime Minister hailed the role of the Thai community in Bahrain in supporting the development process of the kingdom in all sectors, stressing its support of the government for them. He also praised the development of the Kingdom of Thailand in all fields, noting its role in the ASEAN Association as an active member at the economic and political levels. As well, Han as the Prime Minister requested the Thai Foreign Minister to convey his greetings to the Thai Prime Minister and his wishes to Thailand and its people of further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Thai Foreign Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his efforts that aim at strengthening the ties between the two countries. He also affirmed his country's keenness to support the cooperation between the two countries to achieve mutual interests.
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the golf competitions of Nasser bin Hamad Falconry and Hunting Competition commenced today. The Falconers gave an outstanding performance with more than 70 participants. Emirati Falconer Khalfan Shafir won first place in the hybrid category, and Emirati Falconer Hamad Ahmed bin Mijran won another category after a strong competition, especially from the United Arab Emirates. The first day of the competition witnessed a wide participation of owners, falconers and the sports enthusiasts. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, Zana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the strongest Bahraini man competitions under the theme Be a Monster will commence tomorrow at Bahrain Bay under the organization of the media office of Zana Sheikh Khalid. The competitions will continue until Saturday the 24th and the revenue will be donated to support cancer patients. On the occasion, Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in the wide participation, adding that the event aims to support the Bahraini youth. His Highness stated that the competition reflects the vision and directives of the wise leadership to organize such events, which reinforce the kingdom's reputation as a hub for sporting events. His Highness praised the efforts of the High Organizing Committee, affirming that the wide participation at the press conference and the technical meeting of the championship reflects the success of the event. He hailed the support of various institutions 
contributions to the competition. His Highness concluded by wishing the participants success in the event. The aim of this Games just to add something to the, the Bahrain's people to, to, to go for uh, to compete something new and there is one very important idea for these things. We are focusing how important is the sports for us, for all of us, even for children. As you see, there is compete, competitions for the child. We want to build these things to these guys, to the child. We want to relate the, the sports to the health. How the, the sports yani, help them to get very uh, healthy, or to be healthy for the, you know, for the future. These guys are our future. These are Bahrain's future. I'd like to thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for this uh, initiative that encouraged uh, cancer patients to to uh, to involve in the community uh, by by uh, even to, to raise this slogan that uh, in Arabic is called Khalik Wash, and this has encouraged them and motivated them to. Uh, uh, be normal in the community and uh, and this such support that his highness raised for them that uh, motivate them also to fight for this uh, for this ill it gives awareness that health is important in fighting any illness whether it's cancer or any other illness so it, this this event will raise in bahrain the importance of being healthy and to um, uh, to, uh, to be to, to healthy and lead a healthy life and I, I really hope I'm not I'm sure that this event will be very successful and it will uh, have a great uh, seek uh, like the, the people will be aware of how important is uh, sports and being healthy in fighting any kind of disease and I wish all the uh, best of luck for all the participants in such event. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the 21st Gulf Engineering Forum GEF 2018 organized by the Gulf Engineering Union and Bahrain Society of Engineers at the Ritz Carlton. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for delegating him to inaugurate the forum, which aims to develop the profession and the practical and technical abilities of Gulf engineers. He stated that the organizers were successful in selecting the main topics that will be discussed during the forum, which is disputes in engineering projects and resolution methods. The forum focuses on the evolution of contractual terms, amicable arbitration and judicial resolution of disputes, origins and causes of disputes, supply and demand in engineering projects, among others.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, received today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Don Pramod Winai, who is currently visiting the country. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the bilateral developing relations, highlighting the mutual support of the two countries in all fields as well as in regional and international issues of mutual interest. The Minister also affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to reinforce cooperation and coordination with Thailand to fulfill the two aspirations of the two countries and people. For his part, the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the keenness of Thailand to develop relations with Bahrain in all fields, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. In the same context, the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee held its third meeting where the Minister of Foreign Affairs highlighted the diplomatic relations between the two countries that date back to 40 years. He also stressed the importance of official visits between the two countries in strengthening these relations, recalling the visit of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to Thailand to attend the second Asian Cooperation Dialogue, the ACD Summit, held in Bangkok in October 2016, and the visit of the Prime Minister of Thailand, General Parayut Chan to Bahrain in April 2017. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the importance of the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee meeting in bolstering bilateral relations in various fields. He also noted the importance of the signed agreements and memorandums of understanding on cooperation in various fields. During the meeting, the two sides expressed pleasure in the advanced level of the Bahraini Thai relations, hailing the mutual support in all international events. The two parties stressed the need to enhance the follow up on the bilateral agreements signed and the mechanisms to activate them and implement them in order to further develop cooperation relations in all fields. The fourth meeting of the committee will be held in Thailand. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, chaired today the Council's 43rd meeting at the Ministry's Court in Isa Town in the presence of the Board Chairman of the Labour Fund, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed bin Zaid Al Zayani. The Council hailed the commencement of the first stage of implementing King Abdullah Medical City project. The Council also confirmed the follow up with the completion of all institutional accreditation requirements by all higher education institutions. The Higher Military Court of Appeal held its session today where it issued its ruling on the appeals filed against the preliminary ruling issued in the case of forming a terrorist cell and committing a number of other terrorist crimes. The court ruled to reject the appeal of the military prosecution against the following convicts and uphold the appealed sentence of the acquittal of Ali Ahmed Khalifa Salman Al Karbabadi, Hussein Asam Isa Darazi, Muntadar Fawaz Abdul Karim Mahdi, Rami Ahmed Ali Lariash, and Muhammad Abdullah Ibrahim Abbas. The court also ruled to discontinue the appeal of the military prosecution against the following sentenced persons as the conviction was issued in absentia and their right to an appeal still stands. Murtada Majid Ramadan Alawi Sindi, Habib Abdullah Hassan Ali Al Jamri, Hussein Ali Mahdi. Hassan Bidaw, Sayyid Muhammad Qasim Muhammad, and Ali Jafar Hassan al Rayas. The court decided to accept the two appeals of the following and amend the appeal sentence with the punishment of five years in incarceration for Hussein Muhammad Ahmed Shahab and Muhammad Yusuf Marhun al Ajmi. The court also decided to reject the appeals of the following and uphold the appealed prison sentence of seven years for Muhammad Abdul Hussein Salah al Shahabi and Muhammad Abdul Wahid Muhammad al Najjar. The appeal court anonymously rejected the appeals of the following and upheld the appealed sentence of capital punishment for a attempted murder and incitement to commit manslaughter, as well as in creation of 15 years for the remaining charges for the following persons. Soldier Mbarak Adil Mbarak Mhanna, Fadl Sayyid Abbas Hassan Radhi, Sayyid Alawi Hussain Alawi Hussain, and Muhammad Abdul Hussain Ahmed Al Madghawi. The court also upheld the appeal sentence to revoke the citizenship of all the convicts. The trial session was attended by representatives of human rights institutions and associations, as well as media representatives. Bahrain Fintech Bay highlights its launch today with announcements of startups and founding partners. More in this report with Hibab Abdul Ghaffar. 
Bahrain Fintech Bay, the largest fintech hub in the Middle East and Africa, announces its founding partners, coinciding with its launch today in Bahrain. It will work with established industry leaders and new entrants from Bahrain and the region and around the world to drive innovation and create opportunities for growth. That there are several capitals in the world that are leading in fintech. Singapore is one of them, London is one of them, New York is another. And I think we see Bahrain as being one of those leading capitals in fintech if we can execute well on our strategy. And I think we've already progressed in that. Uh, today, Fintech Bay completes that. And we're working with the Singapore Fintech Consortium, who will have a, who will be the operator of this space, who will have, who already has presence in Singapore, in New York, and that ties in these three cities, Singapore, uh, New York, and Bahrain, so that we can have startups and fintech companies move between these three cities. And I think we are already seeing the fruits of that. We have four companies that are going to start today uh, with a presence here, three of them from the United States. Bahrain Fintech Bay will play a central role in growing the supportive ecosystem that is necessary for innovation to thrive. The facilitation of co-working and incubation, combined with Bahrain's regulatory sandbox and focus on opening up access to funding, is creating an ideal environment for startups and corporates to test and then scale across the region. It's not only a meeting point where anybody playing in the fintech space can come here, whether it's financial institutions, technology companies, government agencies, or fintechs, whether locally, regionally, or internationally, but also it is a complete ecosystem which is supported technically, financially, and logistically by the financial institutions here, local, regional, and international, and also the technology companies here internationally. And we've got over 30 partners here, and we're, we're introducing some new partners to Bahrain for the first time here. So we think this is a really good piece which can be a catalyst for pushing Bahrain's fintech ecosystem to the next level. It will work with its founding partners, representing a broad cross-section of Bahraini and global financial services and technology industry leaders, to leverage their combined resources and network to identify, prioritize and address industry-wide challenges and utilize economics of scale to implement solutions that bring innovation that captures the regional opportunity to build on Bahrain's leadership as a financial center. Bahrain Fintech Bay, the largest fintech hub in the Middle East, develops and accelerates the proofing of Bahrain Financial Center as the leading regional fintech hub. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour.